Hi guys, it's Carrie with Secondhand Salvage. We're gonna do a fun little project today um, that is marker watercolor. Super easy, super fun, great project to do with the kids. So um, the supplies you're going to need is a watercolor paper. You can just order online or get it at a craft store. A piece of plastic or foil. Um, I just happened to tear a piece off of one of my uh, transfer wraps. And a spray bottle and markers. So let's get started. So you wanna make sure that your plastic matches the size of your paper. Then we're just gonna kind of have some fun with it and see how it comes out. So I'm gonna use a variety of colors. I am not gonna have any rhyme or reason. I think it comes out prettier like a tie-dye if we just kind of wing it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go with some shades of blue and green to start. You can use any color you want. Just experiment and see what you like when it comes out. Don't worry if your colors run together, that's going to be fine. I am going to put a pop of purple in there as well because I just think with the green and the blue that it's gonna make a, a pretty shade for us to work with. You wanna kind of be a little heavy handed on applying the marker. And then last but not least, I'm gonna use this pinkish purple color in the center, just as some contrast. Okay, and once we feel like we've covered all of the cellophane or your foil, whatever you're working with, we're just gonna eye it up. And then we're gonna take our spray bottle and give it a nice light spray. Now this is gonna absorb into your watercolor. Okay, now you could do it two ways. You can press it down and rub, or you can flip it over. I'm gonna flip it over because I actually kind of like um, some of the looks of the colors running if the water runs. So I'm just gonna lay my paper down and I'm gonna lift it up. See how it's already starting to run there? That's kind of what I like. So look at that. Oh, so exciting. Are you watching that? How fun is that just to watch? Now you can just take your fingers and kind of lightly manipulate the water that's underneath there. If it goes off your paper, that's okay. We'll clean that up when we're done. We're only working with markers, so. All right, guys, I am excited about how this is gonna turn out. I'm just kind of filling some of my white spaces because I really kind of want this complete. So all I'm doing is just pressing that water, as you can see it flow, in the directions that I need to fill in. See, even this is therapeutic. It's just fun and relaxing. I just, I adore it. Okay, now we're just gonna peel up that film. Guys, how beautiful is that? All right, now I'm just gonna take a little piece of towel and clean up any sitting water. I'm just gonna dab it, okay? And then I'll hit that with my drying tool. Now, if I would have left the puddle of water on there, I could use the drying tool to direct it. Now you can let your paper air dry, or if uh, you're impatient like I am, feel free to dry that. But you wanna make sure it's dried completely before you put your design on it. So I just figured I'll work on getting this nice and dry, and then I'll show you a picture of the finished product. I hope you love it as much as I do.